rooms and all that. Refs, 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 refs. This was my first chance to do a full colour book. Um, so I was sort of a little bit all over the place. Now, now with all the other books, I do storyboards first. Yeah. I design all the Angelina books myself. I, I know the, the space I've got to work in and the type limit and the image limit. And you were saying that you design the book in, in total, so you're always thinking about the text and image oh, relationship yeah, from yeah. the start. I love text. I mean, it's beautiful. As a visual too. Yes, and um, it should be treated with as much respect as the picture. Yeah. I've got to copy all the line work before I colour it. Sometimes it changes on the way when you colour it because you alter little things, but it's very useful because it means you can go back to it if you're, you have a disaster or something. I mean, I couldn't go straight in. If you, if you gave me a piece of paper and said, well, you've got, you've got, you've got to fill that space, and I've drawn it and I think I know where I'm going, I won't get it right. Mm. So it gives me the confidence because I only draw it in very light because mistakes can show up. There's a mistake here and you can actually see it on the reproduction on one of the books. You see, I've, I've, I think I had her tail going there. I stippled it back in and mm. you can actually see it. So it's worth it cleaning them up properly. But the finished rough is very important because then I put that on the light box and take what I want very light a drawing pencil and then I sit down I've got it all there I know where I'm going and I can go in with the pen and enjoy myself so Angelina was originally called Primrose oh, really? but we couldn't do Primrose because you've probably heard of Jill Barclum yes indeed. and her character was Primrose so we had to think up something else, and there was a woman in the office who was called Angela, and we were tossing names around, and we said, Angela, Angela, Angelina. And then it's funny and how these things happen, don't they? Yeah. We, we have spin-off where it's u reuse of my work, which is a very separate thing. So things like this is lovely, because it's I add extra work in to go with work that's already used and they can yes out. and they can make it there's lots of novelty books which are all mine and i try to insist that they never mix you see she changes so i have to do the the the, the dresses for that they give me the hole to work through i give them a drawing of her then they give me the cut out and i have to fit the dresses that's good use good reuse i love that mm. that's a copy artist doing my work which again i'm not very fond of but you know you've got this funny situation where you don't want anybody else to do it but you couldn't possibly do it all yourself anyway mm. a lot a lot of the roughs Thank of you. the mice is because i'm trying to get the expression right and you can only do it by just drawing and drawing and drawing you know there's no easy way to and you know you're trying to get a very simple shape to express something you can see i've started to do i've started to work out um the house there in the end mm. with this book i realized this is what the actual original is some um, so there's the ground floor upper floor and then elevations so that i could see and see that's one of the pictures in the book and i use this still so that if i want to move around in the house because for me, it's very important. That, well, when I was a child, it's very important that things were correct to the mm. story. Mm. The whole thing started. We did the first book, and we didn't think there was going to be another one. And people said, "Oh well, you know, there can't be another one. You've taken. You've, she grows up. She becomes a successful ballerina. You know, how can you go on?" Uh, but actually, that was quite clever because we know she's going to be successful so now we can have all the little stories in between. <laughs>